today, we are going to look at the procedure to align an ADB LED Pappy in the field. You will need the following equipment to align the Pappy. A 3 quarter inch wrench for large Pappy leg nuts, a 9 16 wrench for small Pappy leg nuts, and the manual, which is 96A0446. Before we begin, familiarize yourself with the external digital display. To align the Pappy, you will be using the four digit LED display on the side of the light unit, as well as the glide level and set buttons. A complete explanation of how to use the LED display and the different messages that can be displayed are shown in the manual. The first step in aligning the LED Pappy is to verify the glide slope angle desired for each light box. For a four box L880 Pappy, the standard alignment for each light box is shown on the screen. For a standard 3 degree approach angle, the light box farthest from the runway would be set to 2 degrees 30 minutes. The next closest light unit would be set at 2 degrees 50 minutes. The next box at 3 degrees 10 minutes. And the light box closest to the runway edge would be set at 3 degrees 30 minutes. For a 2 box L881 Pappy, the standard alignment for each light box is shown on the screen. For a standard 3 degree approach angle, the light box farthest from the runway would be set to 2 degrees 45 minutes, and the light box closest to the runway edge would be set at 3 degrees 15 minutes. Before aligning your Pappy, verify these angles with the airport operator. Maintenance tip. Mark these angles on the inside top cover of the Pappy, or another visible location for future reference. Because the digital display reads out in hundredths of a degree, and the required alignment angle is shown in degrees and minutes, you need to convert from degrees and minutes to degrees and hundredths of a degree. A complete table showing the conversion of minutes to hundredths of a degree can be found in the LED Pappy manual. For this video, the most common conversions are shown here. The LED Pappy mounting legs are made up of an upper and lower screw rod connected by a differential sleeve. Make sure the threaded rod does not rotate when using the fastening nuts and lock nuts on the legs. Use the small upper rod for preliminary adjustment of the angle. For fine adjustment of the angle, use the differential sleeve. During the alignment of the Pappy, we will use the left front leg as the pivot point. First, tighten the upper hex nut on the left front leg. Do not tighten the lower hex nut. The left front leg will now be the pivot point for the following operations. Adjust the horizontal level and then set the vertical angle. On the display, Press the level push button to display the azimuth or horizontal angle. Adjust the right front leg for zero degrees to make it perfectly level. Then, set and block the right front leg. This step may take multiple attempts to accomplish. Next, you want to set the vertical angle or glide slope. On the display, make sure the glide push button is lit to display the vertical angle. Now, adjust the rear leg for the required vertical angle. For example, 3.5 degrees. Then set and block the rear leg. This may take several attempts. Next, verify all alignment measurements. If the elevation setting is still not correct, repeat the preliminary elevation adjustment steps and then the fine adjustment steps until the correct setting is obtained. After you've confirmed the vertical alignment is correct, press and hold the set push button for five seconds until save is displayed. This stores the current glide angle for this enclosure in memory. For FAA installations, tilt operation is required although it's optional for ICAO installations. If tilt operation is enabled, the control board de-energizes all light units if any light unit is lowered between one quarter to one half degree or raised between one half or one degree. There is a time delay of 25 seconds to prevent tilt switch activation due to vibration. Finally, repeat the alignment procedure for all other light boxes associated with the Pappy system, using the correct vertical alignment for that enclosure. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your Pappy system, which is available on the ADB website at adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB customer service directly by phone or email using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.